is time for Drew's News, that daily whiff of that fresh baked good news pie. <laughs> oh, and with me at the desk is my little pumpkin pie, Rossi Ross Matthews. That's right. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Rossi. Hi, Drew. All right, first we're going to jump ahead to Christmas for a minute. Ross, do you remember Rockefeller? the little stowaway owl that they found in the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree I'll last year. I'll never forget little Rockefeller, look how cute. Show of hands, who remembers Rockefeller? Uh, we were obsessed. Okay, I like, I wanted to know if almost Rockefeller was single, you know? <laughs> like, I, I wanted to like move in with him and just live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish you well. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's true. I, I have. Uh, but it's listen, <laughs> this is so exciting because Syracuse.com reports that little Rocky just inspired her own children's book. It's called The Christmas Owl, and it follows her harrowing journey from a forest upstate to New York City and then to an animal sanctuary to her regaining her strength before she went back home to the wild. Again, if she moved in with us. She wouldn't have to. She wouldn't have to go to the wild. Oh, it's gonna be a bestseller. It's gonna fly off the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love her, and guess what? What? I am gonna purchase a copy, and I'm gonna read it with um, my two daughters, Olive and Frankie, and oh. I just wanna thank that publisher yeah. who thought, you know what? This is a good idea. That I have to say, idea. you're right. All right, from, uh, well, this is a weird transition, but from an owl to turkey day, um, <laughs> we eat birds. Um, sorry, let me do a different. <laughs> It's great. I'm I'm trying to I'm like date Rockefeller, and now you're going to eat the next animal. This is perfect. I feel better now. Do you want to date or get eaten? It's your choice. <laughs> Those are your two options. <laughs> well, Turkey Day means hours and hours for family conversation, which have you ever been to dinner during Thanksgiving? It can get real awkward when the family's around. You don't want to step in some gravy. We've got some tips for you. Pure Wow, to put together a list of things not Repeat, not to say on Thanksgiving. Oh, I can't wait to hear every single one of these, so give it to me now, okay. Rossi. They say it's going to be real awkward if you say things like this. Hey, so when are you getting married? <laughs> don't ask that, and I'm planning right now, so please don't ask me because I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me this question either. Uh, when are you having kids? Uh, or this one. Well, uh, don't ask Uncle Larry if he's still in the closet. Don't do that. I don't recommend. <laughs> He'll let you know when he's ready. What about this one? They say you're supposed to say, oh, you've really lost weight or you've really gained weight. Don't say that. The other thing to avoid, I think, don't ask anyone who they're voting for. That could get real awkward real quick. It's true. You know, it's funny, though. I, I, I'm OK with that kind of chatter like I'm okay with everybody talking about their differences at the table like why are we pretending we're all the same person okay that's sweet I just want to get it over with <laughs> I'm like, like yeah I just great great cranberry sauce Aunt Helen see you next year raise of hands who loves their family but shenanigans will ensue at Thanksgiving oh I love this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it it's so fun. I mean, I'm telling you, you could be alone and feeling awkward, or you could be with your family feeling awkward. Take your pick. Yeah. Or you could be on a date with an owl. <laughs> I'm like, Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have you for dinner. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, next, one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving is that turkey day aroma. It just hangs in the air. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you smell it? And now Southern Living reports that you can get it without lifting a single pot with the new Thanksgiving feast candle. That's right. Oh, whoa. It smells like buttery mashed potatoes, sage stuffing, and cranberry sauce. Are you ready? We're going to take a whip. I'm very scared to smell it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. I like it. I like it. It doesn't necessarily smell meaty, but it smells Thanksgiving-y. Yeah, it's the more like floral aspect yeah. of... How do you feel about food scented candles in general? Um, I'm... It is a... Was I asking you? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 
like, what if I told you, because your lovely. favorite food in the world is mac and cheese. What if I said, oh, they also made a mac and cheese scented candle. Would you I be would excited? I would say, bring me a spoon. Uh, um, um, uh, um. No. They also make a mac and <laughs> cheese scented candle, and I have one right here for you, my love. Oh. <laughs> 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 it doesn't really smell like macaroni and cheese. It smells like something. Oh, oh God. <laughs> this, I, I, I think this candle is just perfect. <laughs> Next, it's time to review the things that you want us to intrude reviews. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And today, we're trying a turkey day invention suggested by Meg Marin via Instagram. Thank you, Meg, Hi, for Meg. writing to us. And you want us to try leftover Thanksgiving nachos. Okay. I have to say, I've never heard of this. Has anyone here ever heard of this? No, but I like all those words in it. <laughs> Thanksgiving, leftovers, leftovers nachos. nachos. All right, okay. let's do this. Okay. So it's, it's chips with like the turkey. And yeah, I know. I feel like, why am I eating this with the pork? I should just, okay, hold on. And then there's, okay. I didn't realize there was nacho cheese on top of it. <laughs> hey, Meg, Drew can date an owl. I'm gonna date you, okay? <laughs> this is phenomenal. Wow, this is nacho, ordinary nacho. Here's my thoughts. Okay. I love everything except for the cheese. Oh, really? Yeah, because it just, it throws everything off. The chips with the Thanksgiving flavors are amazing, but the cheese, I don't know, it, it's standing in the way for me. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> because um, the cheese makes it for me. Oh, brings, really? Yeah, it takes it to nacho, brings it together, says, come on board, we're a nacho now. Get into it. Well, Meg, I couldn't have come up with any of this without you, so I'm gonna give it three out of five turkeys. All right. Okay. I gotta give it up to you, Meg, for inventiveness. Mm -hmm.